In this video, we are going to discuss about the biotechnology sector of India. Recently, our cabinet has approved a new plan called Bio E3. This Bio E3 is aimed at boosting biotechnology manufacturing in India. Here, the E3 means economy, employment, and environment. This Bio E3 plan has six focus areas bio based chemicals, functional foods, precision biotherapeutics, climate resilient agriculture, carbon capture, marine and space research. So, these are the six focus areas of Bio E3 policy. India has also made progress in areas like vaccine development, but still it hasn't fully utilized the biotechnology's broader potential. So, India needs to advance further in biotechnology to make a global impact and realize its full potential. Now, looking at the current status of biotechnology sector in India. India is one of the top 12 countries in the world for biotechnology. It also ranks third in Asia-Pacific region. In 2024, the biotechnology sector in India has reached an estimate value of $130 billion. So, the biotechnology field is seen as a rapidly growing industry, which is also called a sunrise industry. And this is important for India's goal of becoming $5 trillion economy. Currently, India occupies 3% of global biotechnology market. So, India aims to become a key player in providing innovative and affordable healthcare solutions. India is also a leading global supplier of low-cost drugs and vaccines. Recently, South Korea, India, United States, Japan and European Union have launched the Biopharmaceutical Alliance. The purpose of this alliance is to address the drug supply shortages and enhance the supply chain resilience in the wake of COVID-19 pandemic. So, the inaugural meeting of this alliance took place in San Diego in California and it happened during Bio International Convention 2024. So, the Biopharmaceutical Alliance is a strategic partnership alliance that help in India to enhance its vaccine diplomacy. India has become a global leader in vaccine production and it is often called as the pharmacy of the world. The country produces 60% of world's vaccine and fulfills 40-70% to of WHO need for vaccines like diphtheria, tetanus and pertussis. During COVID-19 pandemic, the Serum Institute of India became the world's largest vaccine manufacturer. So, this strength in vaccine production not only secures the health of India, but it also enhances India's global influence, thereby helps India play a major role in international health initiatives. If you look at agriculture, biotechnology is seen as a key to addressing India's growing challenges. The challenges like climate change and food security can be dealt with biotechnology. The introduction of genetically modified crops like Bt cotton has transformed cotton farming in India. With 95% of country's cotton now being genetically modified, biotechnology is a major player in cotton manufacturing. So, this has led to higher yield and increased income for farmers. The research is also going underway for biofortified crops like golden rice, which can improve the food security for India's large population. See, biotechnology also offers solution to environmental problems. The techniques like bioremediation are being developed to clean polluted areas with a successful example, Versova Beach in Mumbai is recently cleaned with the help of bioremediation. In addition to this, the development of biodegradable plastic and bio-based materials can help India to manage waste. The biotech approaches to carbon capture, which is mentioned in Bio E3 policy, is crucial for meeting India's climate goals under Paris Agreement. So, currently, India has over 5,000 biotech startups and also has innovation hubs like Bangalore Bio Innovation Center and Genome Valley in Hyderabad. So, there are various government programs such as Atal Innovation Mission, Bio E3 Plan, which are aimed to boost this ecosystem. So, this is the basic information about the biotechnology sector in India. So, thank you for watching. 